Shalom Israel, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Wamalak, Yahushai. It is to say Yahweh, what's the name of the Heavenly Father? Coming in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ugly calls Jesus Christ. This is Brother Kasadia from WFI Jersey, Philly. And we're out here in Philly. You know, we're about to teach the Bible in just a, you know, a few short moments. Most I willing, helps us elect. But nevertheless, this is a very important message that we can't forget. That um, when you're being chastised and the Lord's bringing you low, for whatever reason the Most High has, um, whether he wants to, to just correct you, maybe you've done something wrong, or maybe he just wants to chastise you, because those things happen. I mean, the Lord speaks about it in the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, which we'll go into. But nevertheless, you have to be humble in those times. You can't be proudful. Right, you can't be damn uh, asking the Lord, you know, why this and why that. You're not the Most High. So in the times the Lord told us, and He's given us examples on how we're supposed to move and how we're supposed to operate when we are being brought low. And this video won't be too long, but nevertheless, this is something that you should meditate on and consider for the rest of the Shabbat, as you may watch other breakdown videos, and you may be going out there teaching yourself, right, or teaching your household, so on and so forth. You have to remember this and you have to keep this in mind and hold this sincerely. I'm going to kick it off with the book of Hebrews, chapter 3, and verse 13. It says, But exhort one another uh, daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And that sin, it can get a hold of you. And you can forget that the Most High, right, he's putting this in his flesh. To show that we believe in the Lord so we can be redeemed from these bodies that we're uh, dwelling in. All right? We got to believe in the Most High because we're not going to be saved through grace. It's like we're not going to be saved through works, but we'll be saved through grace. You understand? It's not the things that you've done to bring you into this truth. Therefore, it's also not the things that you're going to do that's going to bring you into that spiritual body. It's the grace and the Most High, uh, the mercy of the Most High and however, you know, he wants to work with you. Now, with that being said, like I had mentioned, you got to love that that chastising. You got to love it. I mean, it's going to hurt and things may go down that you didn't necessarily want it to go down that way. You may you may lose your apartment. You may be out there homeless. And um, through the spirit, of the Lord has allowed me to give counsels to certain brothers and and households and so on and so forth. And that's that's the thing that's going on. There's there's been households that's lost their their house. You know whether whether um someone lost their job, something happened, whatever the case may be, they've lost their house, they lost their apartment, they lost everything. The Lord may uh, take your job away from you. There's men in this truth. They've come into the truth, and their woman left them. Right, their woman left them. There's brothers that came in the truth, and they was in there with you know just another brother they knew, and the brother left them, went back in the world. I mean that's happened every single day. So, I mean you could be like, why this? Why why is this happening to me, Lord? Right? Why why am I going through this? Ah, uh, this is too heavy for me to bear. Nah, man, you have to understand that the Lord has put you in that position. Because he wants to see if you're willing to trust in him and call upon him. Right? Did not David say that? That's the book of uh, Psalm, chapter 77. In verse 10. It says, And I said, This is my affirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. So you may go through an affirmity. You may be chastised. You may be brought low. But at the end of the day, you got to remember the right hand of the Most High. You gotta remember all the times the Lord had delivered our forefathers, them calling upon upon Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and being delivered countless times, and throughout all the times that we going through these different afflictions and persecutions, and at the end of the day, the Most High still had mercy. All right, we're not destroyed. We could easily be destroyed. We could have been destroyed. The Lord could have been took us out the earth. All right, let me get a quick precept, and brothers should know this already, but I'm going to get it nevertheless. This is the book of uh, Malachi, chapter 3, and verse 6. It says, For I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed.
because the Lord made a covenant, a blood contract with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the righteous seed line. Now, the Lord's promise was from the beginning, therefore, he's not going to change it. Say, so I am the Lord, I change not, therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Because if it wasn't, it would have been destroyed already. If the Lord didn't make that contract and that covenant, then guess what? We wouldn't, we wouldn't be here because of all the things we've done, all the evil we've done. So all the evil we've done, why would it be that we can make it through our works? But it hasn't been our works that brought us into this thing to begin with. It wasn't our works that, that the, the, you know, the works of Abraham that brought him into this thing. It was the faith of Abraham and he showed his faith by his works. So back to it, we got to remember when the Lord is chastising you, right? You got to love that thing. All right. You got to love it. You got to love it. I mean, this is the most high God. And the Lord told you why you should love it. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse. I'll get right into it. Verse five. It says, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. So the Lord said, don't despise it. To despise something meaning you have a, a hatred towards or you have a strong dislike. The Lord said, don't have a strong dislike towards it. Hey, love it. Embrace it. Paul, he said he embraced his infirmities. Right? He gloried in his affirmities when you read 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7 on down. He prayed to the Lord that the Lord will remove those affirmities from him, those demons that he was fighting with. But guess what? Yahweh Shah said, my grace is sufficient for thee. So continuing on, this is an expedient video to make as we get closer and closer to the end of times, to the fifth seal cracking open, to Jacob's trouble being immersed in the earth. We got to remember this. As the Lord said, we forgot it and we got to make more videos exhorting our brothers and sisters about it. It says what? And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. So you can't faint. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yoshai, he doesn't faint. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, and verse. 28 Isaiah 40 and 28 has thou not known has thou not heard that the everlasting God Yahweh the creator of the ends of the earth fainteth not neither is weary there is no searching of his understanding so the most high he doesn't faint the most high he doesn't get worried the most high he doesn't get scared he doesn't get sad he well he doesn't he doesn't deal with the things that man deals with Specifically, worrying nor fainting. The Most High doesn't do that. It don't recreate it in the image of the Most High. That's bigger than just the characteristics and the features that we possess being dark skinned, right? Melanated, right? Certain brothers having beards, other brothers not. That's not what it's talking about as far as the image. It's talking about how we are, us being made after righteousness. We're the chosen seed line. So us being the image of the Most High, we therefore has to be in the, the likeness, in the, the footsteps, in the blueprint of the Most High. As he's chosen a particular seed line, we're that particular seed line. Now, with that being said, if the Most High doesn't get weary, if the Most High, he doesn't faint, we should therefore be increasing in strength. We should be praying that the Most High makes us more into his image. We should be praying that the Most High allows us to never faint. And when we are going through troubles, we are being disciplined. We are going through this and that and, and losing our job or losing our apartment or we're losing a car. I know brothers that lost their car. And guess what? You can't faint. I don't get, look, I don't care what it is. And this is not for just you. This is for myself as well. It doesn't matter what we're dealing with. And we know we have the Most High. There's no other God in the earth. There's no other entity we can call upon. So we dealing with something, we call upon the, the person that put us through that something. And we love it. And he beat our ass and we love it some more. All praise to the Most High. Right? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High and not receive evil? And all this did not Job send with his lips. So back to it, 
It says, the creator of the ends of the earth faints of not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He give a power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. And that's how we must be. That's how, that's the mindset that we got to be in in these last days. It cannot be a mindset of being damn, just giving, when they throw in the towel and take off your fringes and, and pose with your arms up. You can't be like that, man. The Lord has brought you out of damn hell. The Lord has brought you out of this earth. And though you're still in this world, you're not of this world. So now that we're not of this world, yeah, we got to go through things because we, we still in this flesh. But nevertheless, right, we got to remember the right hand of the Most High. So back to the book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 6. It says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Right, because um, a parent that doesn't love you, they're not going to discipline you. You'll grow up and you'll... There's parents right now that's not chastising their children. And you see those children, they turn... They, they're spoiled brats. I just, I'll just i say it. They're spoiled brats. They're whining all the time and they're crying and, and they get older and they want to do what they want to do. You allow your child, you never chastised your child, never told your child this is right and this is wrong and they did the wrong and you whipped their ass. You never did that. Therefore, that child's going to grow up and he's going to do what he want to do and get into mischief. And then you're going to be like, damn, I should have disciplined my child when I had the chance to. You don't want to be like that. At the most size, he's not like that. The Lord, for his children, those that he truly loves, he's going to put through, through more fire and more affliction and more turmoil. So that man or that woman can be hardened and through that discipline, now, it's like you're not hardened, but I use a better word for that. That man or that woman can now uh, uh, have more experience. That's really the point. Have more experience, not hardened as, infor, as far as their heart is not with the Lord and now they've been, become more prideful, but they have more experience. They went through it, right? Like you're working out. You might have first went to the gym and you, you had no damn muscles. You had no muscles, went in there flabby. But through experience, through time of working out and more and more bench presses and more and more curls and then more and more push-ups and more and more pull-ups, and guess what? And now you look at your arms and you got some muscles there. So now through experience, now you have more and more uh, uh, of that muscle built up. Hey, through us getting chastised and afflicted, hey, through that time more and more, us going through those motions, hey, over time we'll have what will be built up, be further built up. So that anything we dealing with, anything we struggling with, and hey, we can overcome. You understand? So we want to keep that in mind in these last days. That the Most High, He chastises us, and is chastising us, so that we can understand that look, the Most High, He's always been there for us, and always will be there for us. And that when we going through and we brought low, and guess what? It's the Most High that brought us low, so we call upon Him, so we can be brought back on high. You can never forget about the Most High, but that's what we've done. We forgot about the Lord. He hasn't forgot about us. We forgot about Him. Let's read on. It says. And scourge of every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastising, Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons, for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? And you better consider this part right here. Write this down and keep this in your heart. If the most high Yahweh, who created all the things you see, through his son Yahweh Shai, and it was just Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and the angels from the beginning, why then? And we know that the Most High, he's chastising Yahweh Shai. Why then would he not chastise you? Are you better than the Lord Yahweh Shai? Are you, are you more precious in the sight of Yahweh than his son Yahweh Shai? The firstborn, the first creation. If you're not, and you, and you, you put a cross on that box, like, look, or you didn't put an X out. Okay, I'm not, I'm not better than Yahweh Shai. As for no one is. So then, if Yahweh Shai had to go through it, 
And he was he was putting the worst death ever known recorded in man. Being crucified, being whipped all over, and bearing all our infirmities, pursuing in the book of Isaiah chapter 53. Putting the thorn across, uh, uh, it's like it, the thorn of crown, uh, uh, the crown of thorns, like it, upon his um, head, was literally pulsated and ripped and pierced through his skin and, and caused his brain to hemorrhage. I mean, this is a, that was a gruesome, gruesome death. If he had to go through that, and yeah, how would put him through that? And how much more you? Surely you losing your job. I mean, that's not the equivalent of a the crown of thorns placed upon your head. Surely your woman wanting to freak off and go back in the world. Surely that's not the equivalent of being scourged and whipped by by brute damn Romans. Surely, right? Being mocked and being scourged and being spit upon and being disrespected. As the man who created this earth, surely that has nothing in comparison of anything that you're going through. Because you're not, you're not Yahweh Shai. Those things he went through was far greater than the things we went through. And therefore, the Lord told us to remember that. And what son does the father not scourge and chastise? It? Name him. I'll wait. Right, let's read on. It says, verse 8, but if he be without chastisement, were of all our partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Right? And you don't want to be like that. You don't want to be a bastard. We know that the Most High is going to destroy bastards in the earth. They can't enter to the congregation. Right? The Lord, he's going to consume all the evil doers in the earth. Let me get a quick precept. This is the book of Psalm chapter 37 and verse number 28. It says, for Yahweh love of judgment and forsake of not his saints. Right? He's not going to forsake his saints. Those that serve him, those that's loving that affliction, those that's enduring. This walk is about endurance. I've been in this thing, you know, about five years. All praise to the most high. And that's nothing. I mean, there's elders been in this thing 30, 40 years. Brothers that make videos to you that's been in this truth for 10 years. All praise to the most high. Now, with those, everyone going through that different, uh, um, being in the truth for a different amount of time, hey, guess what? You gotta understand that there's there's this walk is about endurance and loving that affliction and dealing with it and moving forward and progressing and learning from your mistakes and repenting from the mistakes and continuing on until the day the Lord brings us home. Now the Lord said He loves the saints and forsake of not suck it and forsake of not the saints. It says they are preserved forever. You want to be preserved forever, but guess what? But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. And, and the Lord, he's coming to cut off the seed of the wicked. Now, we don't want to be the seed line of the wicked. We don't want to be doing this, being in this truth, laboring, being out here in the hot sun, being in the cold, then dealing with the scoffers, being spit on, being mocked, then uh, 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 people throwing things at you, having to, get it, having to defend yourself, having guns poured on you. Having knives poured on you, going through damn hell at your household, losing your damn job, losing your apartment, losing your car, losing your woman, damn women losing their husband, damn uh, dealing with all of this, only for you to draw back in the world and be cut off forever. So now you got to consider your ways, Israel. What's really more important to you, right? Do you want to love that chastisement and continue on? And, and, and overcome and most I will be a part of the kingdom or do you want to do you want this world because really only two options most I willing you was edified and Lord willing you meditate on this this, this Shabbat call me Asherala stay in the spirit Shalom